Hey friends, another practice session. This is American English File, second edition, book two, workbook, part 2B, the story behind the photo. Okay, let's get started. The first exercise, grammar, past continuous. Complete the sentences with the verbs in the parentheses in the past continuous. An action that happened in the past was in progress in the past and probably finished in the past. For example, you were laughing when I took the photo, right? Very good. Part B, write sentences with when. Use the simple past and past continuous. For example, look at number one. They were arguing when the waiter brought the check, right? Okay, now I want you to stop the video and do these exercises. Very good. Now check your answers with your partner. Well done. Okay, let's do it together. All right, exercise A, number two. It was snowing when our plane landed. Number three, we weren't driving fast when the accident happened. Number four, what was he doing when his boss arrived? Right, number five, why were you crying at the party? Number six, I was sitting on the bus when I saw my boss. Number seven, they were living in Brazil when their first child was born. Number eight, he didn't call you because his cell phone wasn't working. Very well. Part B. Number two, he fell off his bike when he was cycling home. Number three, the children were playing video games when the guests arrived. Number four, we were having a barbecue when it started to rain. Number five, I was finishing my report when my computer crashed. Well done. Good for a start. Okay, now I want to do this exercise with you, me and you, together. Complete the story with the simple past or past continuous. Okay. First, you do it. Okay, now let's do it together. Last summer, I went to Los Angeles to stay with my cousin for a few weeks. One afternoon, we were having lunch in a nice restaurant when my cousin got a call on her cell phone and went outside to talk. While she was speaking to her friend, I saw, suddenly noticed a man in a black hat who was sitting at the next table. It was the actor Johnny Depp. He was alone and I decided to take my chance. Hmm. So I got up and I went to his table. Excuse me, could I have my photo taken with you? I asked. He said yes. So I stopped a waitress who was passing by, was passing by and gave her my camera. She took the photo of me and Johnny Depp. I thanked them both and then I returned to my table. When my cousin came back, I was smiling. Why are you so happy, he asked. I had my photo taken with Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp? Where is he? He's sitting over there. Look. She turned around to look and then started to laugh. That's not Johnny Depp. I looked at the man in the black hat. He was laughing too. <laughs> you got tricked. Very good. Nice. Now, you remember these, at, in, on, the prepositions. Okay, now I need you to complete the sentences with at, in, or on. This part is for time and this part is for the places, right? The locations. Stop the video and do it. Very good. Now I want you to check your answers with your partner. Okay, and now it's my turn. Okay. Let's start from number one. The results of the election were announced at 11 o'clock. Number two, cell phones were invented in the 20th century. Number three, our flight was leaving on Wednesday at 9.30 in the evening and arriving at 12 o'clock on Thursday. Good. Number four, we have an exam on Monday morning. Number five, in most countries, banks and offices are closed on New Year's Day. Number six, I hate driving at night, getting up early in the morning and working on, we on the weekends. 
Number seven, Steve Jobs was born in 1955 and he died on October 5th, 2011. Number eight, we went to Florida last winter and we're going again in the summer, probably the last two weeks in July. Okay, now the part for the places. Number one, he took some great photos at the party. Number two, I can't read a book on the bus or in a car. Number three, we want to put some shelves on the wall in the living room. We're going to put all our old books on the shelves. Number four, my family is from Brazil, but we live in New York on the 11th floor of a tall building. Number five, I'll meet you at the bus stop. Number six, the adults sat on chairs and the children sat on the floor. Number seven, they spent the morning at the museum and then went for a walk in the park. And number eight, please meet me in the library by the front desk at noon. Well done, everybody. You did very good. Now, I need you to listen and repeat the dialogue. File 2B, Pronunciation. Where were you at 10 o'clock last night? I was at home. What were you doing? I was watching a movie. Very good, very nice. Now, do this dialogue with your friend, but you can change it. For example, where were you at 10 o'clock in the morning? Oh, I was at the office. What were you doing? I was working, right? Very nice. Now, we have a listening. Listen to a conversation between Matt and Jenny about a photo. Does Jenny like the photo? Yes or no? Okay, listen and answer. File 2B, listening. What should we do this afternoon, Matt? I know. Let's take a look at that box of photos my aunt gave me yesterday. Here it is. Oh, look at that. Who's that? That's my grandfather. And that's my grandmother behind him on the right. She's the one in the flowery dress. It was just after they got married, before they had any children. My aunt told me all about this photo a few years ago. So, where are they? Well, as you know, my dad is Spanish. My grandparents lived in the center of Madrid, and this photo was taken in the district where they lived. What's going on exactly? Well, there's a festival there called La Paloma. It takes place in the middle of August every year, and it still happens now. There are lots of stalls selling food, and also stalls where you can win a prize. So, what was your grandfather trying to win? He was trying to win a bracelet for my grandmother. He was shooting at a target at the stall, and all those people were watching him. Do you know any of the other people in the photo? No, I don't. But I think they all lived near my grandfather. Who took the photo? The man at the stall. The photo was included in the price. You had three chances to hit the target, and you got the photo for free. It's a great photo. I think your grandfather was very good looking. That's what everyone says. That's why he's the goat! The goat! Okay, so does Jenny like the photo? Yes. Why? Because the grandfather was so good looking, right? Just joking. Now, I need you to listen again and choose the best answers. A, B, or C. It's on you, all right? Listen again and answer. File 2B, listening. What should we do this afternoon, Matt? I know. Let's take a look at that box of photos my aunt gave me yesterday. Here it is. Oh, look at that. Who's that? That's my grandfather. And that's my grandmother behind him on the right. She's the one in the flowery dress. It was just after they got married, before they had any children. My aunt told me all about this photo a few years ago. So, where are they? Well, as you know, my dad is Spanish. My grandparents lived in the center of Madrid, and this photo was taken in the district where they lived. 
What's going on exactly? Well, there's a festival there called La Paloma. It takes place in the middle of August every year, and it still happens now. There are lots of stalls selling food and also stalls where you can win a prize. So, what was your grandfather trying to win? He was trying to win a bracelet for my grandmother. He was shooting at a target at the stall, and all those people were watching him. Do you know any of the other people in the photo? No, I don't. But I think they all lived near my grandfather. Who took the photo? The man at the stall. The photo was included in the price. You had three chances to hit the target, and you got the photo for free. It's a great photo. I think your grandfather was very good looking. That's what everyone says. Okay, very well, everybody. Now check your answers with your partner. These are the answers. Of course. Okay, well done. You did very good. Now these are some words that you can use. Democracy, democracy, demonstration, demonstration, election, election, freedom, freedom, hold hands, hold hands, peace, peace, realize, realize, TV screens, TV screens, upload, upload, screensaver, screensaver. And that's the practice for today. You see, I keep my promise and I practice with you every day. So you keep your promise and study very good. See you soon.